Hi guys, it's Mitch here, just coming on to do this week's um, card, well it's actually runes and card reveals for you all. So, if you have been drawn to the set of card and runes one, we have got the rune of waves coming in. So, waves is all about feeling very emotional, feeling quite up and down, quite um, uncomfortable energy at times, you know. So you might be feeling really high one minute, really buzzed up, you know, really happy. And then you might feel a little bit overwhelmed. You might feel a little bit teary. You might feel a little bit emotional. And waves is all about transitional energy. So, you know, it's quite unbalanced. It's quite rough and bumpy. Obviously, we've had retrogrades. We've had lots of different things going on. It's a full moon tonight. So it's a perfect time to be clearing, cleansing and releasing anything not serving your highest of good. And obviously with the rise of the tides and the um, the way that the moon controls the tides, water obviously fluctuates quite a lot for us. So this is interesting to kind of come up at the moment. So it is saying that maybe at the moment you've been feeling a bit turbulent with aspects of your life. And when we're feeling a little bit emotionally overwhelmed, sometimes that does play into our physical world quite a bit. I know a lot of people have been feeling really ill, so you might have been suffering with some illness and things of this nature, and that might have in return made you feel a little bit, you know, unbalanced, a little bit up and down. But it's about kind of knowing that when the water is really rough, when the water is really bumpy, it won't, <coughs> excuse me, it won't stay that way forever. It will eventually kind of calm down and find that place of kind of tranquility. So if you do feel a bit overwhelmed emotionally, this is a temporary fix. It's not going to be a permanent way of being. Now, the cards I'm using this week are the Making um, Making Magic Oracle, which have traditional witchcraft symbols on them. So these symbols you can draw on your body, you can draw in a room, you can place them on an altar. They've got so many uses and benefits. So the card for card one is Awen, Three Rays of Light. And it just says here, balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. And this is the symbol that you would use and that you would draw. Now, it makes real sense because if you have been, oops, battling anything here, because again, this isn't just your own emotions. This could be energies you've been up against or coming into contact with. And it says there about male and female. So maybe these are other dynamics, other people around you. This is really good in a sense because it's suggesting that you can actually use this symbol to, you know, to create change for the better, to allow that peace and that harmony in. So I think that's a double message there. Powerful stuff. Right then, guys, if you have been drawn to rune two, we're going into the rune of harvest. Harvest is a really cool rune. It's one of my favourite runes. It's a really powerful time within Harvest Festival at the moment and October time. Harvest is basically all of your hard work, your dedications, your efforts, all the energy you've been investing and putting time into, it's all coming good, it's all starting to come into fruition. Basically, the harvesting, you know, the fruits of your labour, everything's ready for the taking now. So what you've been putting your time, your dedication, your effort into, it's all starting to be met with kind of higher value, higher magic. And basically, it's wanting you to actually own the stuff that you've been sort of, you know, creating here. So it's a really, really powerful rune, this one. I love this one. Like I say, it's almost like hard work, dedication, it's all paying off. Now, what's really interesting, the card that's coming up with this is the protection card. So this is the symbol for protection. And it just says here, strong protective magic for the family and the home. Now, I see this as whatever you've been working hard to create, to bring into reality, this to me is saying with this, protect that at all cost and we know what it's like sometimes unfortunately when someone betters themselves when somebody actually starts to become outwardly successful um, or you know their achievements start to be recognized from external sources unfortunately sometimes people do get a little bit weird and they do want to try and almost sabotage or scupper someone's um, energy what someone's worked really hard to kind of create so to me, this um, protective symbol is saying, protect those investments. Everything that you've worked hard to achieve and to sort of bring about here, protect that, you know, at all cost. 
don't just sacrifice it, don't just give it away, because nobody knows the journey you've been on to get to this point, you know, because there will have been personal sacrifices and upheavals and things that you've had to go through. And to me, this is about a celebration, protecting everything, keeping it all nice so it can continue to invest and grow for you and not be taken away by any sort of um, negative Nellies that might be hanging in the wings. I was going to say something else then, um, but I thought I better keep it, you know, a little bit clean and positive on this video. I was going to say, don't let any arseholes hold you back, you know. Um, and I think it is true because, and it is such a shame, but you do often see this when someone progresses when they're sort of achieving greatness you often do get some idiot coming out of the woodwork and it's about shelving that so you don't have to sort of get involved with it right then guys if you've been pulled into um the energy of rune three we're going into the moon perfect time with it being full moon today the moon is wanting to cleanse it's wanting to heal it's wanting to release it's also wanting to expose things now this could be hidden agendas, it could be behaviours, it could just be bringing things to the surface that may have been laying a little bit dormant before. What's great with the moon is it often acts as like a torch in times of darkness, frustrations and uncertainties and it's clearing, it's cleansing, it's bringing things to the surface so that they can be actioned, so that they can actually be worked upon. So the moon often acts as a torch in times of darkness or uncertainty so we can clear it, we can remove it, and we can actually then find and follow the pathway forward. So the moon actually wants to bring about illumination into your life, but sometimes it can feel a little bit uncertain. The moon is also wanting you to connect and touch base with your higher magic, with your higher powers, and your own, I suppose, um, psychic gifts. It's wanting you to really embrace and harness your own abilities at the moment. Now, it's really interesting, this is a nice card. The, the symbol that we've got to come in with this is the elements. So this is the symbol that you would use and you'd work with. And it just says here, the elements of fire, air, earth and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical and emotional. So that's an extension of what the moon is doing. The moon is clearing, cleansing, releasing all of those things to bring in balance and boundaries for you you know so by having the elements or having that firm foundation everything can work you know for you as opposed to against you so this is a really powerful one actually if you feel like you need to be working with that so like I say you can draw these on your heart you can put them on a piece of paper place them on your altar in a room of choice if you know that you're in a situation where you feel like you need a bit of a bump from the symbols you can then just draw them in your mind and project them out to the room so easy sort of witchcraft and spell casting, but with a purpose, with a point. Um, and that's the thing, magic should always have a purpose and a point. It's never to hurt or harm anybody, it's to, you know, um, create positive change usually. So I hope that these make sense for you. Stay safe, stay well, much love and blessings, and I will catch up with you guys very soon. Looking forward to seeing some of you lovelies at Spire Hill Therapy Centre in Stalbridge on Saturday. And obviously next week, next um, Saturday on the 30th, it's the big witches fair in Westbury and um, the demo night with myself and the beautiful Debs Tie Duck. So lots going on. I'm still kind of recovering. I'm just getting myself back. My chest is still feeling a little bit croaky, but I'm nearly there now, guys. So take care and I'll see some of you lovelies very soon. Bye for now.